Hello students, welcome to AJ Akshara Academy YouTube channel. In this session, I am going to discuss mechanical properties of solids. In this mechanical properties of solids, problems on Young's modulus part 1. This is today's topic, mechanical properties of solids, problems on Young's modulus part 1. Before going to know about this session, e video no madrasari ka chuse varo daiche si like chendi, share chendi, subscribe chendi. Mio kamule mai na abhi praale no ma comment section lo tapaka tele chendi. Let us go to the today's topic problems on Young's modulus part one. Now we'll go to the first problem. The area of cross section of a wire is 10 to the power of minus 5 meter square. When its length is increased by 0.1%, a tension of 1000 Newton is produced. Find the Young's modulus of the wire. So, in this question, they given area of cross section of wire is 10 to the power of minus 5 meter square and its length is increased by 0.1 percentage and uh, tension of 1000 newtons is produced so you have to find out Young's modulus of the wire now let us go to the solution now we will write what they given in this and what you have to find out given a is equals to 10 to the power of minus 5 meter square and E by L is equals to 0.1 percent that is equal to 0.1 by 100 that is equals to 1 into 10 to the power of minus 3 and F is equals to given 1000 Newtons and Y is equals to question mark. The formula for Y is Y is equals to F by A into E by L. Substituting values F as 1000 and A 10 to the power of minus 5. E by L value 1 into 10 to the power of minus 3. So 10 cube here and here 10 to the power of minus 5 will go in the numerator plus 5. 3 plus 5 8 and 10 to the power of minus 3 will go in the numerator that is also plus 3 so y is equals to total 10 to the power of 11 newton meter to the power of minus 2 this is final answer Young's modulus of the wire is 10 to the power of y is equals to 10 to the power of 11 newton per meter square okay next go to the next question that is second question an aluminum rod has a breaking strain 0.2 percent the minimum cross-sectional area of the rod in order to support a load of 10 to the power of 4 newton is if x modulus is 7 into 10 to the power of 9 newton per meter square they given here strain 0.2 percent is and load of 10 to the power of 4 newtons and its Young's modulus y is equals to 10, 7 into 10 to the power of 9 newton per meter square let us go to the solution given e by l is equals to 0.2 percent that is equal to 0.2 by 100 that is equals to 2 into 10 to the power of minus 3 and f is equals to 10 to the power of 4 newtons and y is equals to 7 into 10 to the power of 9 newton meter to the power of minus 2 and you have to calculate area of cross section so y is equals to f a f by a into e by l so now we are writing the formula for a is equals to formula for area of cross section now first we will write the formula for y y is equal to f by a into e by l from this formula we are writing for a a is equals to f by y into 
E by L. Substituting values in this, we are getting A is equals to F value 10 to the power of 4 and E Y value 7 into 10 to the power of 9 and total E by L 2 into 10 to the power of minus 3. So, that is equals to total 10 to the power of 4 and here 10 to the power of minus 3 will go here plus 3 by 7 to the 14 into 10 to the power of 9. A is equals to 1 by 14 into 10 to the power of minus 2. 1 by 14 into 10 to the power of minus 2. So, 1 by 14 value is 7.1. So, total we are getting 7.1 into 10 to the power of minus 4 meter square. 10 to the power of minus 4 meter square. This is final answer. Area of cross section of the rod is 7.1 into 10 to the power of minus 4 meter square. Next we will go to the next. Let us go to the third question. In the cells method to determine the Young's modulus of a wire a steel wire of length 156 centimeters and diameter 0.0 5, 4 cm is taken as experimental wire. The average increase in length for 1.5 kg weight is found to be 0 0.050 cm. Then the Young's modulus of the wire is. Here you have to calculate Young's modulus of the wire. Young's modulus of the wire. And they given in this length 156 cm and diameter 0 0.054 cm and 1.5 kg weight and experimental average increase in length value 0 0.050 cm. Now let us go to the solution. Given L is equals to 156 cm that is we are converting into meters 156 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meters and r is equals to d by 2 that is equals to 0 0.054 by 2 that is equal to 0 0.027 centimeters so converting into meters 0 0.027 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meters and next uh, calculating f value one and a half kilogram weight that is 3 by 2 into 9.8 we are writing the total value 2 ones here cancellation to 4.9 and it becomes 14.7 newtons and then now we are finding the y so formula for y is y is equals to f l by a into e substituting all values in this f nothing but 14.7 and l 156 into 10 to the power of minus 2 and a value here we are taking a nothing but pi r square nothing but 3.14 into 0 0.027 into 10 to the power of minus 2 whole square into the value of E. E is 0 0.050 into 10 to the power of minus 2. Here they given here 0 0.05 centimeters converting into meters 0 0.050 into 10 to the power of minus 2. After cancellation, we are getting 14.7 into 156 into 10 to the power of 4 by 3.14 into 0 0.0027 into 0 0.0 27 into 0 0.027 into 0 
0 at last we are getting after uh, multiplication 2 into 10 to the power of 11 newton per meter square so this is final answer 2 into 10 to the power of 11 newton per meter square approximately we are getting y value 2.0036 into power of 11 we are writing complete round figure 2 into 10 to the power of 11 newton per meter square this is final answer next go to the next question that is let us go to the question number 4 a copper wire and an aluminum wire have lengths in the ratio 3 is to 2 diameter in the ratio 2 is to 3 and forces supplied in the ratio 4 is to 5 find the ratio of increase in the lengths of the two wires aluminum copper and aluminum are two wires lengths modulus of the copper is equals to 1.1 to the power of 11 newton per meter square and uh, Lengths modulus of aluminium is equals to 0.70 into 10 to the power of 11 newton per meter square. So in this question, they given lengths in the ratio 3 is to 2 and uh, diameter in the ratio 2 is to 3 and forces in the ratio 4 is to 5 and they given lengths modulus of the copper is uh, 1.1 to the power of 11 and aluminium is 0.70 into 10 to the power of 11 newton per meter square let us go to the solution in this question they given if l1 is to l2 is equals to l1 is to l2 is equals to 3 is to 2 and diameter in the ratio d1 is to d2 is equals to 2 is to 3 and the forces in the ratio f1 is to f2 is equals to 4 is to 4 5 and you have to find out the increase in the lengths of the two wires so in this uh, e1 by e2 is equals to we are writing the formula f1 by f2 into l1 by l2 into a2 by a1 into y2 by y1 substituting all values in this we get e1 by e2 is equals to 4 by 5 into 3 by 2 into a2 by a1 this is 3 by 2 whole square area nothing but pi r square here d nothing but d by 2 2 by 2 2 2 by 2 by 2 by 2 will cancel and last we are getting 3 by 2 and then uh, 0 y2 by y1 y2 nothing but 0.70 into 10 to the power of 11 by 1.1 into 10 to the power of 11 10 to the power of 11 10 to the power of 11 cancel and e1 by e2 is equals to 4 into 3 into 3 3 0 9 9 into 7 by 5 into 2 into 4 into 11 so here 4 4 gets cancels 93 is 27 27 into 7 189 e1 by e2 is equals to 189 by here 5 2 is 10 10 11 is 110 so this is the final answer the ratio of increase in length of the wire is 189 is to 110 okay next go to the next question that next go to the fifth question a string of cross section 2 cm square is doubled in length by the application of a longitudinal force 2 into 10 to the power of 5 dynes the angst modulus is So in this question, they given area of cross section two centimeter squares and the force two in ten to the power of five dynes. You have to calculate the angst modulus. So let us come to the solution. And given a is equals to two centimeter square and the same l is equals to l and e is equals to l. We are writing here 
2L minus L. That's why E is equals to L. And F is equals to 2 into 10 to the power of 5 dynes. And you have to calculate Young's modulus. Y is equal to question mark. Y is equal to formula for Y. F L by A E. Substituting values. F nothing but 2 into 10 to the power of 5. And L L. And A nothing but 2. E value also L. L L gets cancelled. 2 2 gets cancelled. That is equals to 10 to the power of 5. Dine centimeter square. So this is the. Answer x modulus therefore x modulus y is equals to 10 to the power of 5 10 to the power of 5 dyne centimeter square or dyne centimeter to the power of minus 2. Okay, next go to the next question that is sixth question. A metal ring of radius r and cross section area a is fitted into a wooden circular disc of radius r, r is greater than r. If the Young's modulus of the metal of the ring is y, the force with which the metal ring expands is, so here they given radius r and area a and wooden circular disc of radius r they given, Young's modulus is, they given Young's modulus of this uh, material of the ring is y and then you have to calculate the force this y they given force with which the metal ring expands so let us come to this uh, solution what they given first we will write r is equals to r and a is equals to a and e is equals to r minus r and y is equals to same y and F is equals to formula for uh, force is F A E by L that is equals to Y A of R minus R by L. This is the force with which the metal ring expands. So this is the final answer. Therefore F is equals to Y A of R minus R by L. R minus R by L. Okay, this is the final answer. Next, we will go to the next question. That is seventh question. The there are two wires of same material. Their radii and the lengths are both in the ratio one is to two. If the expansion produced are equal, what is the ratio of the load loads? They given here. Both are in the same material and the radii and the length are the ratio of 1 is to 2 extension produces are equal what is the ratio of the loads so let us go to the solution the given y1 is equals to y2 and r1 is to r2 is equals to 1 is to 2 l1 is to L2 is also equals to 1 is to 2 and E1 is equals to E2. F1 is to F2. We have to calculate. So, F1 by F2 is equals to Y A E by L1. Y1 A1 E1 by Y2 A2 E2 by L2. After all, we are writing the formula F1 by F2 is equals to A1 by L1 into L2 by A2. So, substituting values 1 by 1 into 2 by 2 whole square. Nothing but 2 square, nothing but 2 1s, 2 twos. So, 1 by 2. So, the ratio of F1 is to F2 is equals to 1 is to 2. The final answer is F1 is to F2 is equals to 1 is to 2. The ratio of the loads are 1 is to 2. Okay. Thanks for watching this video.